Hey, just got back from my run and I decided it'd be fun to try and do a 3D scan of my cul-de-sac running around it. So I'm just gonna localize on the curb right here. You can see that's, that's the curb. And so I'm gonna bring this up and look at this whole thing. And we're gonna see how it works. I'm gonna do like a quarter of it and then stop and see how it looks. It's really hard to hold on to an iPad with sweaty hands. So if you hear me cursing and yelling and crying, it's because I dropped my iPad. All right. Well, that's part of it. I'm gonna stop and scan the mailboxes, give myself a landmark to check on the final scan. I'm not sure how much this AR session can track in one go round, so planning to find out. All right, let's make the corner. And I'm trying to keep this kind of low angle so it can keep tracking, but it's really hard to look at this and see what's happening. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess this is not gonna work because there's not enough features in the grass and the circle for it to track against. Hey, hey, look at that. It did. It's just missing a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna walk it back a little bit and do some sweeps. See if I can't fill in part of this. But just thinking this would be really cool for like surveying. Like you see the guys out with the, the reflective vests and the special equipment. Well, if all you need is an iPad, maybe an iPhone 12 Pro, who knows? Um, this would be a lot easier to do. So you can see I'm running back, I'm walking back now filling in some data that it scanned the first time. And so you can see it's, it missed a little bit there, got misaligned some. So the tracking is not perfect, but I was running and wildly swinging this iPad around. So we can't be overly surprised that it wasn't able to get really accurate slam the entire time. So for my cool down, we're just gonna walk and slowly swing this bad boy back and forth. And getting over to the mailboxes now, which was my landmark going around the other way. And let's see. Yeah, see they're different. There's two mailboxes now. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder if I go ahead and close this loop, <laughs> literal loop closure, I'm running in a circle. Oh God, it's hot. Um, if it's going to correct itself and snap all this business together, I will be very interested to see the results of this. I stupidly did not wear a sweatband and my eyes are full of sweat right now, so just glad I don't have the ability to show front and back camera right now. It's one you'd be looking up into the sun. Which should note, it is uh like noon or not noon, like two in Texas and it's ninety degrees, not a cloud in the sky, and this lidar is working really well, so Yes, it is 100% sunlight robust. That's really freaking cool. It apparently is not careless runner robust. So you do have to pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, cool. So there we go. Just made that little loop and it is not fixing it automatically. It doesn't know that this thing is supposed to be one continuous loop. I'm gonna double up just a little bit just to see 
maybe, 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 maybe it wants to uh, do me a solid and snap itself back together. Scan this little fire hydrant too. Just getting lots of little interesting details. And yeah, we'll go ahead and, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I wasn't scanning that whole freaking time. Oh well, it's the same thing. The file's there. All we're doing whenever you say start scan in this version is resetting the AR session. So same difference. Um, save the scan and I'm walking back inside because I'm worried this iPad's about to overheat. And I'm also worried I'm about to overheat. But that's pretty neat. Let's check it out in AR. Oh, sweat dripping. I don't understand why the AR kit for this mode is so much worse. I'm gonna have to look into this because you know, it just scanned this entire thing. And we're not doing anything special with our AR mode other than dropping the model into AR kit. Maybe, maybe it has to do with how I'm initializing this session. But that's the backside. This is the, the dual mailbox scenario. So you can see how much it was off but the first loop I was running, the second loop I was walking. So maybe we'll do another test later to see if it can do it if I'm just walking both times. But it's cool, you can see the little sawtooth pattern. It's just me like swooping back and forth, spray painting the edge. Watch the other video to learn about spray painting the edge. And uh, yeah, there's a little fire hydrant. Be fun to drop a little dog right there, marking it. Be cute, right? All right, well, I'll post this file to Sketchfab. Y'all can look at it, but this is fun. Figure out a way to edit this video so it's not 35 minutes long. Happy scanning.